Howard Shearn. I'd like to welcome you back to Par Breakers Golf Academy. And today what we're going to do is take a look at how you can get better contact with the ball. Okay? And another thing it's going to do is it's going to help you feel how to stay down and through the ball and where the release happens in the golf swing. Okay? So under normal circumstances, what a lot of players do is they're going to unhinge their hands, they're going to release back here and try to get the club basically vertical at impact, okay? And that's going to lead to fat shots, that's going to lead to thin shots, um, top shots, things of that nature, okay? It's, uh, so that's like when you see a divot, it's happening at the ball, before the ball. That's something that we don't want to have happen, we want that divot to happen later. So. But what I've noticed is a lot of players when they, who play golf, they, they usually have played other sports, especially when they were younger, and, and most of them have played baseball, okay? So this is going to be like a baseball drill, and instead of being up here, what I want you to do is set the club up so you're kind of right here, same as you would be at a dress, okay? And as your takeaway, what's going to happen here is, as I make a takeaway, all I'm going to do is just keep the club right, where my, right in front of me where it is and turn my shoulders away. Now what I want you to notice if you look at it from this angle is my hands aren't breaking down. I'm not taking the club away with my hands, okay? Which is going to take the club off plane. All I'm going to do is just turn away, okay? And then I'm going to hinge. Alright, so if I was doing that exact same thing, not at a baseball level, but at a, um, at a golf setup, all I would be doing is turning away and hinging, okay? So I'm just going to keep the club in front of me, and that's really important. Now, to get back to our baseball drill, what we're going to do as a baseball drill is we're not going to hinge, we're just going to turn away. And then we're going to take everything from here and turn into impact. And I want you to notice how the shaft leans forward when that happens, okay? And that the back of my left wrist is flat, okay, facing the target. Now from here, I want you to also notice that if I was to release that club and did that again, here and started with my hands, okay, I'm not going to get that club square. But if I'm here and I just keep my hands here and turn everything through, I'm going to get that club square. Now what I want you to also notice is as I'm turning through, my hips are rotating and my foot is coming up, which is helping me shift my weight to the front. And then I'll finish to here, okay. And now I'm definitely on my left side, and then what I would do is just throw this thing over my shoulder at a finish. Okay? So, if I try this again, I'm going to go back, I'm going to turn through, I'm going to release, and finish. Now that release as I turn through, okay, it's not, I'm not throwing my hands. Okay, I'm um, turning and that release will happen naturally through my rotation of my core. Okay, and you can work on that and then what you can do is try it over top of the ball here, there, turn and then let it go. You're going to see how your shoulders are nice and level, okay, at the finish and the club comes around you. This is going to help you stay on plane. Do the same thing and just kind of set your posture like you're a football player. Boom. Keep the club still above the ground. Turn. Bang. Through. Let it go around. Okay? And then the last time you do it, what I want you to do is set up to the ball so you're bending down just a little bit more. Turn and then just hit the ball and come through, okay? Now, if your hands hang back and your hips too, go too fast, the result's going to be a cut, okay? 
if your hands go too fast, then the result is going to be a, a draw or a hook. All right. So you have to make that constant. We don't want anything to get too fast here. So that's going to help us keep our, our timing, our tempo, and our pace. And that's why timing and tempo is so important in the swing. So you're here and straight through. Now you're going to get more of a, of a baby draw and the face is going to be a little bit more square. The swing is going to be a little bit more inside out. Okay? And you can see the result there. I don't know whether you can really see that. Hopefully you can. Okay, so the drill again is all you're going to do is start here, turn back, bring everything through together to impact, keep turning, let it release, and then throw it over your shoulder. Okay? Then spine tilt a little bit. Same thing. Turn back everything together, keep turning over your shoulder, and then hit a few balls like that to a finish. Then if you want, you can even go to the full swing now, here, hinge it, through. Give that a try, see if that helps you stay on plane more, see if it helps you keep, come from a little bit more from the inside and get more pro contact and stop casting that club or throwing it at the ball. This will help you turn through the shot and compress the ball better. For Parbreakers Golf Academy, I'm Bernard Sheridan. As always, thanks for being with us.